Welcome to the Central Venus Access Mixed Simulator. This compact unit simulates the proper procedure for accessing the subclavian and internal jugular veins with and without ultrasound. It is dry, requires no fluids, and may be set up in five minutes from a case that meets checked airline luggage standards. The simulation contains physical ribs and clavicles encased in gel, a virtual model, a tactile feedback system, a tracking system, and a scoring and replay system. The virtual and physical models are based on scans of a real human. The virtual 3D model depicts soft tissues and anatomy. The arteries, veins, and lungs exist only in the virtual visualization. The virtual model is co-located to the physical model, which has skin and bones. Replaceable skin patches cover the underlying gel and spine. In versions without skin patches, the gel surface can be rejuvenated. This anatomical block is made to mate with the SMARTS platform. SMARTS stands for System of Modular Augmented Reality Tracked Simulators. The simulation shares the same components with our other mixed reality simulators. The Visualization Mode button can toggle the visibility of the anatomical structures. One mode is ultrasound only. This is often used to maximize realism during evaluations. Other modes provide 3D color images of arteries, veins, lungs, and bone structure. This mode is useful for after-action reviews as well as introductory learning. The level of difficulty can be varied by increasing or decreasing the diameter of the veins. This can simulate patient position or hypovolemia. The viewpoint of the virtual model can be controlled with presets or by using the virtual camera pointer. Hold the button on the controller of the virtual camera and move around the physical model. The virtual viewpoint will follow the camera and move around the virtual model. Release the button to freeze the virtual camera's position. The simulated ultrasound images are generated in real time according to the position, orientation, and applied pressure of the physical probe that is tracked in space. Markers show depth in centimeter increments. Cognitive aids can be used to draw a midline over both the virtual ultrasound image and the insinating plane within the visualization. A sheet of red light depicts the ultrasound insinating plane in the visualization. The ultrasound image can be frozen or flipped for different styles of use. The needle is tracked within the virtual model. While contact with the physical bone is made with the real needle, a tactile feedback system provides the feeling of perforating the walls of virtual vessels. An off-the-shelf syringe is used with a needle hub. Users can practice pulling on the syringe plunger while advancing the needle. When the needle enters a vessel, they can feel the plunger relax when blood would flow into a real syringe. Flashback is simulated using lights, blue for venous blood and red signifying arterial blood. Flashback occurs only if the plunger is pulled. Virtual veins can be compressed by the ultrasound probe and by the needle. Users can learn to be mindful that veins can fully compress flat if too much pressure is applied. This encourages backwalling, which the simulator will detect. Users can also use ultrasound probe pressure to distinguish the vein from the artery, which does not compress and pulsates. The simulation models needle and lung and isotropy. The needle view is lost in the ultrasound image at incident angles greater than about 45 degrees. A similar phenomenon also applies to the lung surface. Note the simulation of pleural slide. An isotropy and depth attenuation of the ultrasound image can be toggled with the ultrasound realism button. The simulator includes custom cognitive aids that help instructors and learners use the simulator. One is a view of the needle and anatomy from the ultrasound probe's perspective. This view is aligned with the probe's axis and looks out along the insinating plane, shown as a red line. When the needle is in plane with the ultrasound, the needle aligns with this red line. This aid is useful for troubleshooting ultrasound probe and needle alignment. This cognitive aid is a proximity monitor. It is a bar graph of how close the needle tip is to the vein, artery, and lung. The closer the needle gets to the structures, the higher the bars rise. To record your needle placement, click Record. All needle and probe measurements are saved. When you want to play back, click Playback. The virtual camera controller can be used to closely examine a replay procedure from any new perspective. Cognitive aids can be changed. Pause and rewind functions exist to aid debriefing.
The simulator can score sessions. Press Practice and Approach, choose your approach, and begin. The simulator will attempt to be as realistic as possible. No 3D visualization, full screen ultrasound, no extra cognitive aids. Scores are based on time, anatomical structures punctured, ultrasound technique, and proximity to no-go areas. At the end, the scoring includes a summary for quick debriefing and a replay when all view options and cognitive aids are made available to optimize your after-action review. The simulator contains an integrated tutor that deconstructs complicated procedures into basic components and helps learners fine-tune their technique step-by-step -by, -step by providing video instruction created on the simulator by clinical and simulation experts. Use of the integrated tutor allows learners to study at their own pace and master complex techniques while reducing or possibly eliminating the time and cost needed from experts or instructors. Learners can select a video from the list of tutorial steps, view a video which often includes cognitive aids and simulator settings used meaningfully, and immediately practice what they just watched on the simulator.